We have a new 90 Day Fiance leak, and guys, it is going to be good. We all remember Dean and Reek. They are brothers. They were, past tense, pretty good friends, and they were also on Pillow Talk, and everyone seemed to love them. Well, just like that, they disappeared from the show, they weren't on it anymore, and we all kind of thought it was related to some comments that Dean and his brother Reek made about Tim, another 90 Day Fiance castmate. Well, guess what? The news came out and Reek finally wanted to share the truth. So let's not waste any more time and jump into exactly what Reek had to say about this whole situation. He said this, saying he quit out of the blue his reasons. He said I was copying him and wouldn't let him finish his quote jokes, delusional. He said I was cutting him off, imagine that. He said either they fire me or he quits. Who brought him into this? Me. Everyone, including me, was stunned, and I asked to talk to him twice. He said no, twice. They couldn't believe he was being so childish. He blocked me and Hazel out of the blue. She was hurt the most. That's when I said it's blank finger time, so if we were your favorites, just know I tried. His words were, I am the, not one of, but the star. That's why I don't blank, dude. I'm getting this out of the way now because I am tired of hearing about it. You heard it from the horse's mouth now. So we were all wrong, I guess, because I made a prediction and my prediction wasn't entirely right. I thought that Dean made some comments about Tim, the other castmate. He was kind of saying that he was a little bit ladylike, and I just thought that maybe TLC and 90 Day Fiance said, you know what, Dean, you're walking a really fine line, and maybe it would be best if you kind of just pieced out and kind of got out of here because the comments you made were rude. I never, ever, ever would have thought that Dean would have been this cocky. I mean, yes, Dean is very loud and proud, I just didn't think he was this loud and proud. I mean, he's a little bit past that. He just seems kind of cocky. Because first off, number one, Reek got Dean on this show. He was the one that was in a relationship overseas in the Philippines. And the only reason Dean has any, you know, bit of fame is because of his brother. So that. Number two, the guy isn't like famous. He doesn't post, he kind of posts some funny Instagram videos and whatnot, but he's not famous at all. So I don't know what he was trying to get at by saying his jokes and that Reek is copying him. But either way, I am shocked. I don't even know what to say, so I'm going to just leave it at this, let you guys comment below, and let me know your thoughts on Dean and Reek and this whole crazy situation. The next thing we have to talk about is the 90 Day Fiance self-quarantine special, which was on last night, and it was pretty good. Little bit of BS here and there. First, let's start off with Fernanda. Now, we haven't seen her in a very long time, so I will flicker a picture right there of her. She was actually married to Jonathan. They had an up and down relationship. However, after watching this last season of Night Day Fiance with baby girl Lisa and David and Lana, they were a real couple. They weren't, you know, catfishing and just really using each other. However, the Fernanda situation is kind of weird. Either way, they got married and one thing led to another. They ended up getting a divorce. Fernanda is still in the States and now she is looking to date. She's looking to mangle and who did she meet? She met Clay from the Bachelor series. Now, Clay was in the last summer season of Bachelor in Paradise. I know many of you guys don't watch the Bachelor series, which breaks my heart because I kind of actually love that show. I don't know why. Either way, Clay, he's from The Bachelor. They had a Zoom quarantine style date. They talked about kids. They talked about life. They did a little bit of dancing. It was a good time. And I don't see this couple going anywhere for multiple reasons. Number one, Fernanda seems a little bit too loud and proud for Clay. I'm just gonna throw that out. I have watched Clay on Bachelor in Paradise last season. I've seen him on The Bachelor. I don't think he can really be with someone that is kind of loud and outgoing and eccentric, and Fernanda is definitely very loud and very eccentric. So I just don't think that they're going to mesh, and Clay is much older than her because she's like my age. She's like 22, 23. She is young, and Clay is significantly older, and my honest take is the whole thing was just fake. That's why I was saying some BS was dropped in from last night's episode. Yeah, I think the whole thing was completely fake. You got a guy here who is dying to be on TV like Clay and yeah, Fernanda, they probably just wanted to connect the two. And to be completely frank with you guys, I wouldn't be shocked if TLC just set the whole thing up. So Fernanda and Clay, it was fake. Moving on to, and guess what? We saw Jesse, yes. 
Yes, yes, the same Jesse who was with Darcy, who was on that TV show called Find Love Live. And yes, he's still on 90 Day Fiance for some reason that I cannot figure out. Why is he still there? Now, no one likes him that I know of. If you like him, feel free to let me know, but I just don't understand how someone that is single and no one really even likes, why is he still on the show? Clearly, this guy just wants fame. He's right there. I'm sorry, but he's right there with Darcy and he's right there with Tom. And for those of you that actually like Jesse and are curious what he's up to, I will keep it quick because I know most of you guys don't care at all. Um, Yeah, he's back in Amsterdam. He is going through the coronavirus stuff. It's actually kind of sad. It seems like one of his friends has it. He wasn't doing well. Hopefully, please so help me God and I'll send my good energy and prayers that he's doing better now. His friend was an, a, you know, a single dad, so the, he was bringing food over to the kid. It was actually a pretty sad situation, and I do wish them the best, even though, Jesse, it's like, come on, why are you still on this show? And we got to see Tiffany and Ronald, who they do hold a pretty special place in my heart. I like them as a couple. I think that they fight, and I think if they could just get him to America, I think a lot of their problems would go away. They met with like an online counselor, therapist kind of thing, and they're trying to work out the differences, but all of their differences, in my opinion, are really big on how they're just in different countries. Tiffany is trying to raise her two kids. Okay, one of the kids is actually Ronald's, the daughter. The son is technically Ronald's too because Ronald calls him his son. Either way, Tiffany, you know, needs help, and I think Ronald would give her the help if they were in the same country. And we all know, Tiffany is not going over to South Africa anytime soon to live permanently, so it's just a really bad situation. And the, all this stuff going on right now with the pandemic and everything, it is making it even more difficult. So his meeting to come over to the US, you know, that's even trickier. And there are some issues going on with his past addictions and whatnot that Tiffany is still kind of concerned about. Maybe I'm naive, but I am not very concerned about Ronald's past. I think he is a great guy. When they are together, he just seems to be a level-headed, fair, honest, nice guy, and I am wishing them all the best. And that is basically it that I watched and focused on from last night's episode of 90 Day Fiance Self Quarantine. Guys, make sure to put in the comments your thoughts on this whole Dean and Reek situation, and also make sure to put in the comments on what you think with Fernanda and Clay and Jesse and everything else. I want to hear from you guys, and I also want to give one last huge, gigantic shout out to all of you guys so many people way 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 more than i ever could have ever expected it's just said you know you're sorry about my grandpa and everything and it seriously just made me so happy it was so sweet i never would have ever expected so many people to comment on my last video where i said that my grandpa did pass away and it, you know it just it means the world to me you guys are all so sweet. I would love to go through and comment on every individual comment that you guys made, and I'm going to try to at some point. I am just so busy with work and life and YouTube and now this, and so I just wanted to say in this video that if I do not get around to ever commenting or liking and every those comments, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It means the world to me. I should be back on Thursday, and I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you guys. You guys are so sweet. You guys are like my second family, and it means the world to me. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to subscribe, and stay tuned for many more.